I use a canal like post as you can see right here so we have that functionality the next functionality we want to implement is actually the unlike post method right here okay so let's head over to our code and write into our like dot view since we already have our like method we're just gonna create the unlike method so subtract this a little then right there we'll have unlike okay so same thing same out so we're just gonna make an ajax request to our endpoint and this is gonna be a get request and we name that unlike and we're gonna concatenate this id which is the post id we're trying to like okay so we have it as a prop right here so we are concatenating that prop to our request and uh, we have to include that slash right there okay so as soon as the post is liked we'll receive the response and in a callback we're gonna do a number of things okay so what i would like to do because remember as soon as we unlike a post we are actually deleting a like row from our database so what i would like to do is actually remove that like also from my dome okay so from my front end i'm gonna remove the particular like that was deleted from the database now there are two ways you can do this if you look in our likes controller right here what we are doing to delete we're just deleting and then we're returning a one okay so it means when we receive the confirmation from the back end that it's been deleted what we can just do is actually find that particular post in our store and then delete the like in that post where the user who liked that post is the authenticated user so right here in our store if i take you back to view right here let me just show you this for a second so right here in our store if you check out our post you discover that each post has a likes array and each like has a user so for us to delete the particular like we just find the post and we find the like where the user who created that like is the authenticated user and we just delete it okay yeah but i'm gonna be handling this another way and uh, what i'm gonna be doing is in my likes controller i wouldn't like to delete it as such i like to find it and as soon as i find it i'll delete it like this and rather than returning a confirmation i'm just gonna return the id and uh, in that way as soon as i receive the id i'm just gonna find that like by id rather than user that created it okay so we're gonna do this and you'll understand more of what i'm trying to express okay so right here we've just deleted a like from the database and our response contains the id of that like that we deleted how do we delete it from our store.js right there so we have a list of posts how do we delete it now we need a mutation as usual so we're gonna create a mutation and we'll just say this dot star dot commit and the mutation we're gonna be committing is on like post okay so that's the name I'm going to give it. And again, we're going to pass in a payload, meaning the data that we want to pass to this mutation. Okay, so what is this data going to contain? First of all, it's going to contain the post that we're trying to unlike. And this is simply going to be this ID. Next thing is going to contain the like ID that we are trying to remove from our post. And uh, this is simply going to be the response that body. Okay, so that's what we're passing to the mutation. Now let's go ahead to our store.js and create that commit. So right down here at the bottom, we're just gonna have a commit that we're gonna call on like post. And again, it's gonna receive the state and I'll just call this payload. Okay, so there we have it. And what are we gonna do? As soon as we receive this, first thing we have to find the post. Second thing, we have to find the particular like in the post.likes right here. So we'll find the post and as soon as we find the post, we find the like. And as soon as we find the like, we delete it. So first thing, find the post. So we'll save var post and we'll save it in a variable. And this would be state.post.find. And what are we going to be finding here? The post in question. So we're just going to save the current post in a loop, in the loop, and a p right there. Okay. So we are returning the post where the p.id is equivalent to the payload that we passed in dot the post id right here okay so it's just exactly like what we did right here to update the post likes so it's exactly the same thing okay so we're finding that particular post and as soon as we find the post what we want to do is actually find the like so we're just going to say variant like and we're going to save the like in a variable called like okay so we'll say post the post that we just found dot likes so we're assessing the likes array right here if you check out every post has a likes array so right here in the likes array, we are finding the like, which I'm just gonna store in a variable L. And how are we gonna find that like? We're just returning the like where L.id, which is this particular like in the loop, is the equivalent to the payload that we passed in from our component dot like ID right there. Okay, so we have the 
post ID and the like ID from our like.view when we are committing right there. So as soon as we get that, we got the like. Now, how do we delete the like? First thing is that we need to get the index of the light and then we'll splice it using JavaScript's splice function. Okay, so we'll just say variant index is equal to post.likes, which is our array dot index of, and we'll pass in the like right here. Okay, so this index of method simply returns us the index of that particular like. So for example, if you check out in your post, we, we see we have likes and we have the indexes here, zero, one, and all that. Okay, same in the post array, we have the indexes right here, zero, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. So we'll get that index and then we'll splice it out. Okay, so now we got the index and it's stored in an index variable. So how do we splice it out? We just say post dot likes dot splice and the parameter is taken in here is the index so we're gonna start splicing out from index maybe if it was zero we'll start from in the zero and we'll go one step so it means we're just gonna remove one simple element in the array okay so that's done for our unlike post so first we find the post second we find the like in that post third we find the index of that like fourth we delete the index so as soon as we do that Let's come back to our like.v component and simply display a note to our user right here. So we'll just say as soon as you delete that from our front, just say you successfully unliked this post. Okay. And as soon as that's deleted, all our computed properties are going to re-evaluate. Okay. So the post is going to re-evaluate. The authenticated user likes post is going to re-evaluate. The likers is going to re-evaluate. Every single thing is going to re-evaluate just like we had for the likes. Okay. So let's go ahead and run gulp. Okay, that's done. So I'll head over to my project and I'll refresh. So hopefully that should work. So let's go ahead and try that out. And there it didn't work. Let's check out right here. Response is not defined. What did I do? So let me minimize this and right here in our method unlike okay so resp is not defined. It's supposed to be response. I'm sorry guys. Just run gulp watch. Okay, let's refresh that. So hopefully that should work this time around. So I'll just like this post. And uh, okay, now that I like it, let me go ahead and unlike. And it works perfectly, okay? So let's go ahead and check our view right there. And you see the unlike post commit was just called, okay? So right there, we successfully unliked the post right there. So let's just like this one. And uh, we'll try again to unlike it. Okay, so you see, you successfully unlike the post and my avatar is removed and the like this post button is displayed. Okay, so let's try out this one. My avatar is placed. You successfully like the post and if I unlike, you successfully unliked the post. Okay, so let's go through this again for better understanding. First, in our database, likes controller.php, we defined a method to unlike a post and what this is simply gonna do is delete a like row from the database okay so we find that like using the user's id and the post id and as soon as we find that we get it we save it in a variable like and we delete it and we are saving it in a variable like because we want to actually use that id in the future okay so after deleting that it receives a response okay so our online method who's gonna trigger that endpoint receives the response and we commit a mutation to our store and this mutation is going to receive a payload which is going to be the post id and the like id okay and the like id obviously we're just receiving from the response body next that commit in our store.js is going to call this mutation now this mutation first of all is going to find the post in the store using the payload post id that was passed to it next is going to find the like in that particular post that we are trying to delete using the payload like ID that we received from our database after sending the request. Next, it's gonna get the index, and as soon as it gets that index, it's gonna splice it off. Okay, so we did, and we see how it's working. So you can now like a post, we can like as many posts as we like, we can like, and uh, we can now unlike a post. Okay, so if you check out your database or if we check out our network right there you discover that it's sending the request and it's returning to us our id of the database like that was just deleted okay so that works well thank you so much for watching and see you in the next lesson